Like we're, when it's done, when it always, like we're. It's almost tall enough. I was gonna set you on the on my drink. Maybe. There we go. So, all right. Today's devotional in our day by day uh, devotions for Dad book. I have a link down below for it. As long it also along with um, a link to the exact Bible that I use. Um, pretty pretty uh, cool. If you guys want to join in following, join me and follow along reading day by day in either of these books. Um, the Bible obviously is going to be more, is, is his word, is God's word. It is. So, um, without further ado, <clears throat> anyhow, in the devotional book today, what it was talking about is, it, it was talking about a church. Some churches... Um, have uh, like little meet and greets before service happens, which I think I'm pretty sure most of them do. I I don't know that I've been to one that doesn't. Uh, I don't know. You guys tell me maybe. <laughs> Anyhow, what Woody was saying is that this is the prime time for fathers to show children how to shake hands, how to properly shake a hand. How to respect the the elders, their elders, and how to greet a friend, how to talk to them. And here's the here's the best part. The best part is it takes about twenty seconds. You see somebody and you stand up if you're sitting down and you shake their hand and say hello, good morning, how are you? And your kids are sitting there watching. But they learn so much, they see so much in that moment. They see they see you, okay, stand, stand to shake somebody's hand. One, shake somebody's hand, that's two, right? And then talk to them, eye contact. You don't have to have a loud voice. You can use a quiet voice, a nice, gentle, in indoor voice. Respect, they're learning respect at that point. And that's a lot of it. A lot of kids nowadays miss and lack respect. And, uh, well, mine, mine, they don't. <laughs> they might at home, <laughs> but home is home, and man, when we're out and about, or even when they're at school, they're they're the they're the best student. They're the you know, not the, like the best best, but they're well mannered. So the things that I do teach them, please thank you. How to be kind, and it's it, it's working. It's helping. So. Go ahead, Dad. You can do it, too. You got this. Show your little one in that 10, 20 seconds a lot of things without even knowing it. And that, I mean, that kind of takes me to another subject, which isn't the key of today's video, but we're going to go into it real quick. No matter what you're doing, going through, they're, they're always watching. They're always watching. And this is where it kind of... It really hurts me because it really does. Because my oldest, Adi, watched me get be abused by my ex. And he, he, he knows this and he talks about it. I'm so glad that he talks about it. I'm so glad that he's able to say, Dad, I remember and I'm like, Oh Bubba, I'm so I'm sorry you I'm sorry you had to see all that. I I didn't, I didn't want any of them to see it. I, I specifically said that to her. Shut the door. I don't, they don't need to see this. And it, it doesn't matter when or what's going on. They're watching. And in that moment, he was watching. And he was impressed at a very young age as to a way to handle that. And, and honestly, looking back, I, I feel like I handled that way better than I ever could have. Well, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> Over here, it looked like there was somebody in the door. What the heck? <laughs> so, man, it 
God's amazing. He got us through there. He there is a reason for Audi to see that and still to remember it to today. And uh man, I I just so again, they're always watching, they're always learning. Even when we don't think they are, the times we slip up, the best thing to do, because we're going to, okay, we're going to slip up, we're going to mess up, and we're going to say or do something incorrectly, we're going to do it wrong. The best thing to do is to just own it. Say, you know what, I'm sorry I did that. I shouldn't have done that, I should have handled it better, and this would have been a way to do so. And that is... This kind of, again, leads to the devotional. He said, don't, don't necessarily correct their behavior in public, but in private, correct them. Because then you won't, you won't embarrass them, because you don't want to embarrass them. Because then they'll just, no, I'm done. Uh-uh, bye. <laughs> so, pretty, pretty good. Uh, man, I'm, I'm really liking this book, so I, I, I suggest that y'all, if you're fathers, go down there in my description, check that link out. Take it straight to Amazon to get the book. And I, I believe it's like $14.99. Or you could get it even cheaper if you have a Kindle. So that's that's pretty sweet. Um, anyways, let's get into today's video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that just explains the day. Hold on, I gotta get my finger off the mic. I always do that. Man, good day, good day. We ran around fixed up a, a few heaters uh, made some plans to switch some out you know it's it's actually beautiful uh, 53 right now it's beautiful out it was 20 when we got up and ran around so it was a bit chilly however the sun come out and started warming up the the, the world our little world that is <laughs> maybe maybe it's warm where you are too um, anyways that was, I, I kind of missed out on a good chance of getting you guys a cool little video. And what that was, was we, if you remember way back when on the Chevy, on the diesel project, the truck, we put that bed on there, but it wasn't sitting quite right. Well, we got smart today in our free time and we, we straightened it out. It, it is now sitting on the truck correctly. And well, we, we kind of want to scoot it forward about an inch, two inches. We have a plan to do that, and so a later date we'll do that. There's also some other plans of getting that Mustang that you guys have seen on the channel rolling and somewhere else. And I'm super excited about that, like beyond excited because you guys know me. I love getting my hands dirty on some cars and working on cars. And if I could, if I could have my own little project and afford it, this this that's, that's the problem. Okay, guys, that's the problem. I can't afford my own project. I can't even afford to go fill up with gas. <laughs> because, you know, that sticker that says, I did that? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't me. But now gas is, for whatever reason, double in price. And just, yeah, whatever it is, what it is. <laughs> and we do what we can do. So if you guys enjoyed today's little video, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget, click the red subscribe button because we're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. We're going to make a pit stop at 2,000. So if you guys will meet me there at 2,000, tell all your friends, tell your family members. We appreciate it so much. Thanks for joining the Arctic Vet family. We'll catch you tomorrow in another daily vlog. And what could be in store for tomorrow? Hmm. Drop some guesses down below. I'd like to know what your thoughts are. And we will get back to um, the daily reading of the Bible. I've got somebody that wants to join me in reading the same day. So we're going to wait. If you guys would like to join that, join us too, drop me an email at trevor at arcticvet.com. And I have a link in the description to the exact same Bible that I have that I've been reading. So don't worry, I'm not very far in. I'm still in Genesis, the very beginning. And I would love for you guys to join and we could we could read it each day we could read it and then talk about it. And I think that'd be that'd be really cool. It'd be really cool. So if you want if you're interested, you want to do that, go ahead, check out that link and don't forget to send me an email and we'll get you put down on this list. It's gonna be awesome. So God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day. Cause I am ready to pick the boys up and have a beautiful afternoon.